Hi everybody, you're ready for another day of spring-like warmth across southern New England. We are headed up to near 60 degrees again this afternoon. In fact, potentially getting very close to, if not tying, the record high temperature at TF Green, which is 62 degrees from 1991. How about those headed up to Boston? Hopefully dressed in layers as those temperatures will soar. 61 degrees by noon in Boston and highs there into the middle 60s. It gets a little cooler as you get closer to the coastline. We'll be topping out in the 50s along the Rhode Island shore, close to 60 in New Bedford. We've had a couple of sprinkles and extra clouds at times this morning. Areas of fog too out ahead of a cold front. That line has been falling apart as expected as it's moved towards southeastern New England. And the front itself will hold off until the end of the day today so we end up on the warm side of things but you can see that cold air lurking off to the west of us where the temperatures are cooling down across the eastern Great Lakes and that cool air will drain into southeastern New England by tomorrow so you can see the high temperatures tomorrow is a big difference only topping out in the upper 30s to lower 40s so that colder air returning is going to set the stage for potentially a little bit of icing Wednesday night. Here's the outlook. We're dry for both commutes on Wednesday morning and evening looking fine, but later in the night here comes that leading edge of wet weather. This is at 10 o'clock at night and that is going to be pushing in potentially with some freezing rain during the night and the start of the a Thursday morning commute at 6 a.m. and rain continues through at least the morning hours before a little bit of a lull. We could get some minor ice accumulations out of this north and west of Providence especially so something to watch for some slippery travel Wednesday night and Thursday morning. We'll be keeping you updated WPRI.com. Have a great day and enjoy this warmth.